now we can see another sum using convex lens see there is a luminous object at o and a screen s yes. they are kept at fixed distance of separation it is fixed in this place this is fixed in this place you move a convex lens in between o and s object and the screen okay it is found that at two different positions of the convex lens the image is formed on the screen that is when the convex lens is at a image is formed on the screen again when the convex lens is at b image is formed on the screen the distance between the two positions of the convex lens that is small d distance of separation between the object and the screen which is fixed that is capital d okay then you are supposed to prove small d is square root of d into d minus 4f 4f and also you are supposed to prove m2 by m2 by m1 is d minus d by d plus d the whole square m2 is a magnification when the lens is here at b m1 is a magnification when the lens is at a o is fixed screen is fixed lens is moved between o and s for two different positions of the lens the image is formed on the screen the distance between the two positions of the lens that is small d and the distance of separation between the object and the screen capital d you are supposed to prove these two things okay we will see how to proceed first what you do let this distance be say x then obviously this will be d minus x okay so use lens equation 1 by f focal length of the convex lens positive 1 by v image distance again positive minus 1 by object distance is x lens is here so it will be minus x so overall it will be plus x okay object distance this is image distance that you can write as d minus x am i right d minus x okay we will proceed now say 1 by f is equal to x plus d minus x by x into d minus x cancel then x into d minus x is equal to f will go to the other side it becomes df after this dx minus x square is equal to df therefore x square minus dx plus df is equal to 0 dx minus x square df take x square to the other side dx also to the other side x square minus dx df is there here now this is quadratic in x so solve for x x is equal to i am using the formula minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a to find the roots of a quadratic equation so x is equal to d plus r minus root of d square minus 4 ac here it is minus 4 df by 2 these are the two values of x so you can consider one value to be d x1 to be d minus i'll call this as x1 this is x2 we will have two values all the distances are measured okay two values of x now what you can do i just mark it there x1 is this then x2 will be this distances you measure from o so x1 is for this case x1 is x2 because it's larger no so i just take plus part of it d plus root of d square minus 4 df by 2 now what is small d x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 
so d is equal to x2 minus x1 d plus square root of d square minus 4 df minus x1 so minus d plus root of d square minus 4 df whole divided by 2 will cancel this is equal to square root of d square minus 4 df this is small d see we have proved it here then we will see you have to get the magnification note that d is equal to square root of d square minus 4 df this is in fact small d now you proceed further you want to find magnification first you will find m2 for that you can write x1 as this is x1 d minus this is small d by 2 then x2 take this d plus the whole thing is small d by 2 keep it in mind now magnification when the lens is here imagine that is only m2 so v by u imagine the lens is here uh, so v is this d minus x2 by lens is here object distance is x2 so x2 v by u so d minus x2 is this d plus d by 2 by x2 is again d plus d by 2 this will be 2d minus d minus d by 2 into 2 by d plus d 2 and 2 will cancel therefore m2 is d minus d by d plus d so i write here separately m2 d minus d by d plus d similarly you find m1 m1 means lens is here so magnification v by u v is the whole thing d minus x1 u is this by x1 therefore d minus x1 d minus d by 2 by x1 d minus d by 2 this is 2d minus d plus d by 2 into 2 by d minus d, d. 2 2 will cancel so you will get d plus d by d minus d this is m1 so you will get m2 by m1 m2 i already wrote there d minus d by d plus d divide by m1 which means again d minus d by d plus d therefore you are getting somewhere here m2 by m1 d minus d the whole square by d plus d the whole square see because uh, you don't have sufficient space somehow i have to write in some place available to me so m2 by m1 d minus d the whole square divide by d plus d the whole square or you can write finally m2 by m1 is d minus d by d plus d the whole square okay suppose if it is uh, you are asked to find m1 into m2 m1 into m2 or m2 into m1 suppose m2 d minus d by d plus d into m1 d plus d by d minus d cancel so 1 note that the additional m1 m2 is equal to 1 
okay and one more thing you should notice from this problem for everything to work out this is square root here therefore for everything to work out d should be greater than 4f please note that otherwise there will be a negative thing inside the square root which is not possible okay thank you